Hello and welcome. Pierce Brosnan put his Malibu home up for sale for $100 million. And while it's a very nice home, it's not $100 million nice. And so instead of that home, we're looking for $2 million homes in all 50 states. This time, it's uh, New Hampshire. So the only thing I can say about New Hampshire is, I miss you, Arkansas. New Hampshire homes are nice, but uh, you just get more for your money in other states. So anyway, here we go. So, um, there we go. So, for, first up, uh, this one was a very nice house, and I kind of talk on it, but if you like gray, this is the house for you. They just went all in uh, on a monochromatic style, and it is located not too far from Boston. So, the thing about New Hampshire, there's no really big population centers, so you kind of got to like the outdoors. So, that's if, if, if you want to be close to Boston, it's under, it's like an hour and a half or less. But the inside of this one is 6,000 square feet of monochromatic city. It's it just all over the place. So they had a vision. And they went for it. And boy, did they go for it. Um, I, I mean, the kitchen, it's very modern, very, you know, very chic. So there you go. If you like light gray. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the house. It's actually a nice design. It's very open and and the light light gray just kind of adds to that and you know this is winter time out there and it's very light inside this place it's just a little bit much it could use to, and i love that art on the wall there it's just very cool um and uh so it's just i mean it's a great house i don't know what this looks like a little cubicle inside so i'm not sure what's going on there maybe they try to get some work done so Otherwise, if this had just some splashes of color, this would be higher up. But but it's a fun house, just a little bit much. <laughs> so, you know, nice little land. Nothing wrong with it, but it was just interesting and different. Uh, next up, so this is kind of completely from a very high-end, very designer-esque, a house with a moose outside. So, so this is the house you want to get away from it all. Um, so this is up. A little bit not not still not too far from you know Boston and such uh, so I think you could get there in about two and a half hours or whatever but this it's on 41 acres of land that have lots of hiking and so it's just something that your house on a hill and it also has a little dock so um, not more for canoes and kayaks and stuff uh, but your little getaway does not have a pool the inside is not fancy at all so you go from the very tailored very designed experience from the first house to this one so a very a plain but but you know definitely if you want to get away from everything there you go uh, next up this is kind of a classic old house that i think originally was uh, parts of it were built in the 1808 and they remastered it and i just loved it 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 was located um over here by new london so, like I said, there's not many population centers, so you have to like what the house is. But I, I just thought it had a nice area and um, mountains to look at. But the inside just reminded me of an Architectural Digest home. Very clean. I, I think the beams, it, it gives you just a hint of being rustic, but not, doesn't go over the top with it. I like this. The New Hampshire homes, if I could, I'd like the elements out of each. Like, I would like the home, but it, I didn't like the land it was on. Or I like the land, but the home like the last home was compared to this is just nothing so this this i really felt very warm at and 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 it was cozy and i just loved it i, th I think from a just an internal design standpoint um i synced up with this house probably the best and it, and it had a nice land to it did not have a pool so i think it for all this, I think it was only like three acres or something. Yeah, so you think it's more, but it was three acres, which some people don't need a lot. Uh, moving on. So this house also was uh, redone uh, from the 1789, and they did a good job redoing it. It was um, over here by Portsmouth. Um, so you're, you're next to a bigger town. Uh, they went all in with the yellow, which I kind of like. Um, again, this is uh, similar to the previous home, and um, I like uh, the style of it. Uh, this has more uh, rustic parts, which I assume are the older parts of the house, um, which really get into the like 
centuries old house i don't know how they got they got the piano up there which is probably a good story maybe they assembled it in, in there but but there's parts of it which are just kind of look like they're undone like they started it and didn't quite get to this part and there's a really low ceilings here uh for a time when people were not as tall uh the land is nice but it's only this is all your land just about it's only on half an acre so it's um uh, they make it look like a whole lot more but this is pretty much all your land which if you don't want land then that's fine um but i like the house as well uh this one is our last of our old beauties uh this was built in 1780 so but this has 125 acres and it's uh, a very uh very wooded uh location but very pretty um would be awesome and autumn would be fantastic it has some this registry of historic places i think it's a little bit more of a closed uh setup it's not your open floor plan uh, the kitchen has been updated and they have updated the insides but um it kind of suffered from i think that compartmentalized statue to it has an outdoor pool which is okay but in new hampshire it's got to get cold um so overall it was all right and here we go and a lot of these i could flip flop like looking at this now i'd probably flip flop the past two houses because this house is just okay so here's where it's located at so it's just by portsmouth so you're near a bigger town and you're near that water and you're close to boston so you know if, if you like being close to things there you are so this house is good for that it's on it's 23 acres so you also have a little bit of that you know away from people um stuff if you just need to get away it also has a guest house which you see just a little bit right um right over here there's a little guest house so it adds up to has you know three bedrooms four baths is the main house but it's got this other little guest house and the inside's all right it's just kind of plain um and there's nothing wrong with it and, and and this is what you get into it does have an indoor pool so i thought that's why this is a little bit higher up the list is that it has uh not a not a very big but but a, a good size indoor pool I thought for New Hampshire and all the snow and everything, and that's kind of cool with the, with the glass in so you can see stuff. It's almost like a hotel pool in a way. And it has a nice, I mean, a nice kitchen. I mean, nicer my kitchen, but, you know, not, not some of these $2 million homes just have a much nicer kitchen. So it, it was a, a, a good design, but not a great design. It's like you pull up to it and... The inside's better than the outside. People look at the outside and say, that's a $2 million home, and here's a little guest house. But I, I liked it, and it'd be a nice getaway, and it's, it's close to a lot of stuff. So it would be a good, wonderful home. Next up, so this one is on a lake, and it, it's, it, but it's a small lake. So that, that's kind of the thing why it couldn't be any higher. So that, that's not much of a lake to play on. Um, but it's enough you definitely you, you could canoe and kayak and have some fun it had a large extra garage which I would love for wo woodworking and stuff so that was very appealing to me and it was you know y you can look out upon the lake and so that that's a nice very peaceful area that you that you have there and, and it really like made me like the house it has a covered um, uh, boat area which is also very nice for those elements and I hope it has a lift. I don't see one, but you would hope it has a lift. But that, that's something that could keep your, you know, your boat safe when you're not using it. It has a little gazebo down by the water. So I just thought it has a lot of entertainment value. A little mini beach of your very own. Um, I mean, granted, that far north, it'd probably be pretty cool. But you could at least sit and look at the water, and that'd be nice. And, and um, it would, you know, the, the inside, <laughs> it's like... After you see some of these fantabulous kitchens, this is, eh, but I'm sure in person, it's, it's a really nice kitchen. But compared to some of these other monster kitchens we've been seeing over the weeks, um, it's kind of, eh. But I, I do really like in this house, too, all, all the big windows. So I think that would let a lot of sun in, and um, especially during the winter, that would be very, very helpful up there in a view of the lake. And, and it has this theater room which kind of looks more like a conference room it's like 
where your parents come and tell you what you're doing during the week but I'm sure it's really cool and it'd be really fun having your own theater um, but I really I really like it just looked like a house you can invite your family has it they say it has comfortably sleeps 18 guests so does my house if I put them on the floor you know I and mean, I don't know I, I didn't see 18 beds but you know I don't know how they do that uh, moving on so this one was interesting and initially this was up higher but it was kind of due to the novelty um, it is um, you know close to Port, Port, uh, Portland Maine and Portsmouth it's uh, uh, not not too far from Boston so you could conceivably do a day trip it'd be a long one um, uh, so this is a house on a hill and um, it, it's just it, just interesting they went all red on the mulch which i'm not crazy about and it's got so the main house it's got that spire but it's got like this other side pool house which we'll get to and then it's got this long balcony so you got these wonderful views of everything and so this stretches out over the hill and i really really hope it's made out of steel um, because it was made out of wood it would need to be replaced and you got to look at especially with wood costs now you got to look and see would you really replace it but the inside is so plain um i mean it just doesn't match at least it's got an island but it's not an island you're going to sit at so it, and it's not totally it's not an open concept really so the inside is not ideal and um it, it's just more the area so if if you like the views but what it does have is it's got an indoor pool and it, it's a good sized pool and there's also in the corner a hot tub and it's got this little uh uh, tiki bar kind of deal with the table so you could definitely have a lot of entertaining a lot of fun here and there's the hot tub over there in the corner um, so that that's this little room to the right so that is a very you know fun thing to do and it's the winter like this you wouldn't even care it looks like it's metal so I, I just don't know I would fry on that little outcropping so I don't know how often I would use it and get really windy um, but I I would probably do more this so it has a little stairs up that you could use this little crow's nest area I think would be a little bit more my speed just so I wouldn't get fried all the time but it was very interesting but what I didn't like about the house and I think would kind of bug me is if you look at the lot lines the road to get to your house actually goes through your neighbor's house which is really kind of weird I mean they're probably good friends and it's no big deal and it's probably not a problem but if it ever was like if your friend decided i'm not going to shovel today you're kind of stuck so i don't understand because they there's a cul-de-sac here that goes up to the house they just decided to go across their neighbors and down which is i don't know i'm not crazy about that so uh you do ha have a lot of land around you that is not claimed so or is you know neighbors and stuff so um, your land is not too much but anyway so I liked it uh, this house uh, also I liked a lot so people could say were you born in a barn you could say yes so this house um, <laughs> is um, kind of close to the other one it, it, it well no it's up to, it's uh, near Hartford or New Hampshire and you know so not too far from Boston and it has probably the best land like it has a nice mixture of open pastures and uh, high grass and woods and so you could create a walking trail just of this really easy you know and it has a little pond that needs some help um, but the land itself which is do, 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 I think we're looking at like 20 70 acres so that's good but just very interesting the, the the kitchen is not your standard kitchen but it's it's definitely designer it has a you know island you can sit at with lots of burners and everything um, and obviously there's no furniture in here so it's hard to tell how the layout would be on things but there's a couple interesting things like 
they love their bookshelves. They have like a dedicated area just for their bookshelves. And, um, and the upstairs is really interesting too with all the woodwork and it and but it has one area of glass floor which i'm not quite sure why they went that direction but I mean, i'm sure it's interesting to look down or up and more bookshelves uh, and more bookshelves so if you're into books this is for show a house for you um there, there's other parts like I, i'm not crazy about the wallpaper or the wallpaper here and it has an indoor lap pool which initially I thought was great, but then it's like, that's almost like work. It's telling you there's only one thing you can do in here. But it would be nice. Uh, you could definitely get your exercise in here or play or just float. So um, that would be something to do um, if you're not. like it also has a sauna. Lot, lots of porches. So, you know, for three seasons, you'd have plenty of, you know, your outdoor space. And um, it, this separate barn area just looks pretty magnificent so i like the house a whole lot and last but not least i kind of went for the house i usually don't go for which is a house on a golf course so uh this one um i don't know why but i usually it's just maybe it's too sophisticated for my vibe uh but this is also different because it is located up in in more northern new hampshire um, so the, the thing is, it's only like an hour and a half from Portland, Maine. So that's your closest big thing, but it's close to like Mount Washington and, uh, and a lot more outdoorsy stuff. There's also north of it. There is uh, a ski area north of there. Uh, this story land is like a amusement park for young kids. And then there's a ski area right around the corner. So if you're into skiing, um, and outdoor hiking in the mountain, this would be great. And then there's several golf courses nearby. Um, I, so I just really kind of like the area of it. Um, and the house itself it was just the nicest combination of 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 all of them. Um, the the inside was good. the The landscaping was all right. Didn't have like acres and acres, but it just looked nice it, it was one of the more open concept ones so if if that's a big deal so you have your kitchen here and your and you know sit sit island and your table we're all right here and your entertainment center and then people from upstairs can look down so it was all connected right here and a wonderful uh open concept uh, so lots of windows you know in the winter just to keep you oh look at that view even in the winter it looks great um, so, uh, and, and then to bring it home, um, and it, I, I want to know if it comes with the, the pool table and video game. That's very important. Um, the, it's got these bunk beds right now. So it's, it's got eight bedrooms inherently. So it's got plenty of room for people to stay. But the kicker was it's got its own like indoor pool family fun area with a hot tub in the back it's got a lab pool here connected to a main pool so you got the best of both worlds you got a fun play pool you got like a bar area um where you can cook stuff down here and and just have the party just in this pool area uh you have a view down if you're a creeper i guess i'm not sure what that's for um i guess that's the staircase uh, to look down so I, I think this also even has a guest house has a nice outdoor deck with a I think it has a guest house um, oh and it's 10 minutes from Cranmore there you go um, so there you go that that was the winner and um, so I really you know I, there's parts I wish I could pull from each of the different properties and put them all on the one but overall there's some, some interesting houses in new hampshire so i hope you enjoyed hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and take care